Okay, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to my live. Thank you for watching. My name is Laura Roderick. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in San Antonio, Texas. Thank you for joining me tonight. We're going to make some really um, fun projects tonight. I'm really excited about it. Um, let me make sure I'm coming up here. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so um, I wasn't here last week. I was on vacation. Um, we went to Disney World um, with family. I met my daughter and her husband and her family out there. So, um, oh gosh, we had a great time. It was hot. Um, hi, Renee, thank you. It was hot, but um, boy, was it fun. I'm telling you that two-year-old is living her best life. She had a great time. She thoroughly enjoyed it. She loved seeing all the princesses and characters and so it was really fun. I'm glad to be back though. I'm ready to stamp. Isn't that crazy to miss stamping after just a week? But I do love to do it. So um, I was excited to get back and start playing with my stuff again. All right, so here we are. Um, so tonight is the third quarter calendar class. Um, if you have um, joined me in the past, we've been doing a quarterly calendar class. And this is our third one. We're going to be doing July, August, and September tonight. Um, so um, thank you for tuning in. Um, I go live every Tuesday night on Facebook. And then after that, I post the video on my Facebook business page and also on YouTube um, so people can watch later. So if you're tuning in later, thank you also. Um, and um, let me know where you're from. Say hello. Um, every week, I also do a share contest. And um, all you have to do is share my video um, on Facebook or on YouTube to your friends um, to kind of expand the audience a little bit. If you share and write in the comments that you shared, I put you into the contest. Um, and then the night before, last night, I um, put everybody's name down from all three places and then did my random drawing on my little app on my phone. So this week I was giving, and this is from two weeks ago, these brushed metallic dots, which are really, really pretty. And the winner for this contest was Pam Simmons. So Pam, congratulations. I will send these to you in the mail. What I'm gonna give away um, this week for the contest is this is the 2022-24 In Color Baker's Twine set. So um, this is a really nice set to get. Hi, Pam. Um, this, is, this is really fun. And I used it, was it last week's or two weeks ago that um, I used um, this uh, Sweet Sorbet color on a project. So these are, these are fun. So this is what I'll give away. Just share my video. And thank you to everyone who shared um, last week and in the past. I appreciate it a lot. Okay, I'm going to turn my camera down and let's get started. All right, let's see what we have here. I had a little trouble. Um, I was a couple minutes late getting on because I had a different cover on my phone and it popped out and fell on the floor twice out of my holder. And I was like, okay, that's not good. And then I couldn't get it off. So I was struggling to get the cover off so I could put the phone in the holder without the cover. All right, I think this looks pretty good. All right, so um, I just wanna start out by letting you guys know um, for June, the designer series paper is on sale at 15% off. These are the select papers that are 15% off, which is pretty much most of the designer uh, series papers. It's not the specialty papers, it's not the in color papers, but all these beautiful designs you can get for 15% off if you're a demonstrator. Um, you also get your demonstrator discount on top of that, so that's great. Um, I'm excited to stack up a little bit on paper. Um, because I use it a lot. Okay, um, we're working out of the annual catalog today, and I'm not gonna show you all the pages because we're using some different sets, but I'll show you the actual sets as we go along. All right, so for our calendar class, um, if you're, uh, this is your first time joining me, I'm doing this calendar class. I've been doing it quarterly. I'm doing July, August, September today. These little calendars sit on a little easel. And I'm gonna send you a wooden easel um, if you order the kit and your calendar just sits on your easel and you can just switch them out every month. I don't know if this is a good angle to see it, but it just sits on this little easel. So how do you get the class? If you place an order of $35 or more at my Stampin' Up! website, by Saturday, you'll receive this set for free. Here's the host code you have to use. 
And But if you don't wanna place an order or you're a demonstrator, you can also just purchase the kit for $20. So what's included in the car kit is um, the things to make these cards, the, car, the pre-cut card stack. Um, you will need the stamp and die sets to go with these two. This one, um, I just used a series of stars and I'll show you from which sets, but I'm gonna um, die cut these for you already. So you're not gonna have to, um, everything will be already cut for this, this one right here. You'll also receive one of these wooden easels. And for this quarter, um, I, I got the 2024 in of the mini tear-off calendar. So you'll get um, a package of those, not, um, you know, just one of these that has each one. If you would rather have the 2023, just email me and I can send you the 2023 instead. I still have a few of these left, but I'm moving on to 2024 in case you're making a set for um, a gift. And so what some people are doing, I know, is, um, let me show you what we've done so far. So, so far in the first quarter, we did January, we did February, and we did March. Second quarter was April, May, and June. And if you do these ahead, the great thing about the stamp set with the numbers is you can do any months that you want. So if you're doing these ahead for next year, um, you're going to have a nice set of 12 calendar cards to send to somebody as a gift. So when we do the fourth quarter, I'm also going to give everyone one of these um, little boxes. They come nicely folded up and we'll figure out a way to decorate it. And then it's just a nice little gift box to put all your cards in to give as a gift. Maybe a Christmas gift would be um, really nice so people would have a whole calendar for the next year. Okay, so let's get started on making these. We're going to obviously start with July. So let me um, show you what I used for that. This is the Days to Remember stamp set. And this set is awesome. I love this set. Um, I actually ordered an extra one just so I would have it. Um, it's in the annual catalog, so it'll be available this whole year until next May. But um, what a versatile set. You can do so many um, things with it. It's, it's just something I always want to have forever in case you ever need to make a calendar. So I'll show you how to use this set. For um, the first card that we're making, I used um, these... Um, radiating stitches dies and these are an online exclusive i also used um a square from the stylish shapes dies which i use these all the time all, all all the time and i also used this little banner die to do the banners tonight and then i took the stars from two different places i don't know if you guys remember but a while back i don't know how many catalogs ago we had a stitch stars set which was beautiful i was really sad when it retired but this balloons kit from this year it has a couple of really nice stars in it just your classic basic stars and the give it a whirl dies which i always say i'm going to use properly one day it has so many good other dies in it hearts and stars and things clouds um i used these two um stitched sets right here for the stars okay this is give it a world eyes so those are the things that i use to cut them out of your um card kit will come just like this in a little cello envelope and like i said i cut out all the pieces for the card um for july so you don't have to have a stamp set or anything for this one okay so um, all of our card bases are six by four and a quarter, so you can get a couple out of a regular sheet of cardstock. This is Knight of Navy, that's gonna be our base. Then I took the radiating stitches dies and I used the large rectangle and cut this out of real red cardstock, and that is gonna be our first layer. So let's go ahead and put that down right away. And if you'll notice, I kind of, I didn't center this all the way. I put it a little bit up more towards the top. So I'm gonna kind of put it right about here. Let me make sure I have it straight. Because most of this down here is gonna be covered up with our actual calendar part, okay? So, um, and the rectangle doesn't quite fit exactly. All right, so that's what I did with that. All right, other pieces, again, from that radiating stitches dies. Um, what I was using for the first couple calendar classes was the stitched rectangles dies, right? And those have retired. So I had to find some alternatives now. And this one worked great. Um, perfect size for our calendar. So that's going to go down here. We're going to stamp on this. So let me put it aside. I took this from the Beautiful Balloons set, this um, designer series paper. And... Um, I can never get the name of this right. I don't know why I have a mental block. It's Bright and Beautiful DSP. 
Okay. And um, this is the one we used for the balloons class. Lots of really pretty designs and colors. And I used um, the stars. And it's kind of variegated color, so you'll see they're kind of lighter and darker. And I think that's okay. Um, that it's not a solid color. You can even see on this one, it kind of goes from dark to light. So that's gonna be a layer on our card as well. And then, like I said before, we used the stitch rectangle or stitch square die um, from the stylus shapes. Okay, so that's gonna be a background. And then all the little stars and banners that I cut out. Okay, so let's do the stamping part. And I stamped in Night of Navy. So let me get that ready. Hi, Lois, how are you? Hi, Pam. Okay, um, so we're going to start by figuring out, and this is not straight, that's going to drive me crazy. Let me put this back on because I want it to be straight so I can have at least a shot at making it straight on my paper. So I'm just going to line it up on my grid and then pick it up with my block, just to make it a little bit straighter. Okay, so as you can see, July the 1st is on a Saturday, and there's only 30 days in July. So I'm going to be using from this point over, and I'm going to have to um, tape off the 31st, okay, so it doesn't get ink on it. So I'm going to use a little piece of post-it tape and just put that over the 31st. All right, and then the, the geniuses that they are at Stampin' Up, this is the exact width of the, of the seven weeks, right, or the seven days of the week. So I'm just going to, whoops, I hit the wrong 31. So that was really smart of Stampin' Up! to do it that way. Makes it nice and easy to stamp. So I'm just gonna pick up some ink and it'll only do those seven days across. I'm gonna take off my piece of post-it tape and now to see if I can get it straight. The other thing you can do if you're doing these without the kit is just um, you can stamp it and then cut it um, cut it out with the dies around it and it makes it a little bit easier to get it straight. Okay, let's just go for it here. And I wanna do some nice even pressure on here. Part of my nails, my appointment is tomorrow. I have um, my little Cinderella on my nails from the trip. Okay, I think that came out okay. All right, um, so the other thing, let me put this aside, that I stamped, you can see, um, it's got a couple of, let me pull it back out, a couple of little shapes on there. It's got, you know, a little flower, a star, a heart, some balloons. So I took the star and I just did it in some real red ink um, to go over the fourth, just to make it look a little cuter. So I'm just gonna take my star and just, you can see right through it, so I can go ahead and just stamp over the fourth, just like that. All right, now the only other thing we have to stamp is the sentiment. And um, y'all know how I love to emboss, so I did a little silver embossing. And I'm gonna take my embossing buddy, because this time I'm actually remembering to use it. And I like to especially remember to use it on the darker cardstock because it's more likely to show up. Um, your uh, little specks are more likely to show up on the dark. So let me get out my Versamark. You guys, it is hot here. We are gonna set some records this week. I think they're talking like um, over 100, I think, on the weekend it's supposed to be 104, and Saturday 105, on Sunday it is hot in Texas. And I was hot last week in Disney when it was like 100, or I'm sorry, it was in the 90s, but now we're in the 100s, and I'm like, oh no. Okay, so let me find my July. Hmm. Oh, it's so little, I almost missed it. All right, so I'm going to... Um, Get some of the Versamark on there and see if I can center it here. And then I'm gonna add my silver embossing powder. Now, if you don't wanna go through the trouble of embossing, then you could either use the, um, the Whisper White um, ink to ink it on the blue or just cut it out in a different color. Like you could do red and um, stamp the navy I think that looks pretty good. Let me just add one more coat to make sure it's stuck on there pretty good. Um, you know, be creative, do what you wanna do. 
make it your own. I like to add a little bit of silver, a little bit of metallic bling to everything. Okay, let me heat emboss this really quickly. Can you guys see that? Let me hold it up a little bit better. Um, see if you can see that or not, hopefully. Okay, there's such a delay um, on my Facebook that I can't see if I held it up good or not. Okay, all right, let's put it together. All right, so I'm gonna take this piece of DSP, and I don't think I told you the measurements for this. This is three and a quarter by two and three quarters. So you guys, I started something new. I now have an email list sign up. Um, the link for it is gonna be on um, my Facebook business page under that. There will be a link for it to sign up for my email list and also on YouTube, you can sign up for my email list. Um, and then I will put, um, I'll send an email. Uh, my goal is to send it weekly on Wednesday evening and it will, um, I'll put the project and measurement sheet in there so you'll have all the measurements if you're making the projects, okay? All right, I'm gonna take some dimensionals and pop this up. So yeah, sign up for my email list. I'm excited um, that I finally got that together. Can uh, put all the little promotions in there and stuff and make things a little bit easier to order. So you can just click on buttons and stuff. All right, we'll put this right about here. Then I'm gonna pop up the little calendar part that we made. Oh, Lois says it was 75 in Georgia today. I'm jealous. That sounds amazing. Sounds absolutely perfect. Okay. I'm going to put this all the way down here. Right like that. Okay. Now we need to find places for our stars. And we'll pop some up and others we won't pop up. So I'm going to start by popping up this big red one right about here. And then the other one I'm going to pop up are the silver and the blue. So um, what I did was I cut a big red one. And then the, also from the balloons one, I cut a silver and a blue, a navy one. And then um, the other ones I cut with the stitched. So um, stamping up again, smart as they are. They put two of these in, in the um, die set. So I did one of each color, a red, a navy, and a silver. I used the silver cardstock for that. So not that much die cutting um, because you only had to run it through once or twice instead of for every single one because they doubled it up. So thank you Stampin' Up! for that. That's a big help. All right, these are the ones I'm popping up. All right, let me get my glue out. I haven't used my glue in a couple weeks. Let's see if I can get it started here. So I hope y'all are having a nice summer, doing some fun stuff. Let me get a little scrap here and get my glue started. Um, yeah, and Nicole, who's my daughter, she had just finished school like on Thursday, and then we left for Disney on Sunday. So that's how she started her summer vacation. Okay, so I'm gonna put, let me just put some dots of glue here, and then I'll go ahead and put the stars down. All right, where is my take your pick? I love, I, I guess I love stitched everything, but I, stars are one of my favorite shapes. And I love the stitching around these stars. I think it's so pretty. Does anybody do anything super fun for the 4th of July? I love fireworks. We don't have in San Antonio, I don't feel like we have that kind of small town fireworks 
thing like we did when I lived um, in Chicago. I lived in um, Payless Heights, a suburb. And you know, we had the parade, the fireworks, all that fun stuff. Here, it's, I mean, I guess you could go downtown for the fireworks, but also near my house is, um, we have um, a Six Flags. So we have Six Flags Fiesta Texas. So I can actually see the fireworks from my patio in the back. So it's nice to be able to see those from right where we are. Okay, so the last two, I'm gonna put stars on stars. So we'll put the stitched navy. I don't know why my glue's not sticking that well tonight. And we'll put this little red one here. Or will we? Come on. And then I put a little silver one down here at the bottom of the calendar. Okay, now let's pop up our July. I'm um, actually, I'm just going to use a little bit of seal and just put it right across the top like that. Okay, let's get out some rhinestones. I'm just using the rhinestone basic jewels. Mine are a mess. They're all cut up right now. But we'll just put some here, right like that. Um, I actually put one inside the silver star, and then another one over here. And we'll do one more little bitty one right up here. Okay, so that's it. That's our first one. Very festive for July, I think. Colors are kind of all over the place tonight, right? For the different months. So here we go. Here's red, white, and blue for July. Okay, next let's do August. So I had got this set before and I hadn't really used it. And I thought, oh, this would be a good way to use it because this kind of looks summery to me. So that's what I used for this one. Um, let me show you the set. This is Lighting the Way. And it's got these really pretty... Um, what would you call these? They're almost like field-like, right? These, um, uh, I'm at a loss for words. I can't think. Got the little fireflies. We're going to um, do those. Um, so you can make some really cute cards with this. Erica Serwin, who's one of my uplines, she did a light-up card with this, which was amazing. She made the little fireflies light up. That was pretty cool. Uh, when she did that one. Okay, so um, dies, the die set you can get. It's not in a bundle anymore. This is Lighting the Way dies. And so we're gonna stamp and then cut out these little branchy things. Um, this is the firefly um, die right here, and then this lantern die, which is amazing. I love it. Okay, also for this one, um, again, looking for new rectangles, I used the deckled rectangle die. So I used this one right here to do our calendar cutout of the white right here. And so, here are our pieces. Hold on, let me get a drink of water really quick. <coughs> okay. All right. Here's our pieces. So I am in love with this new color this year, this Lost Lagoon. I think it is so, so, so pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, so this is our, our base piece. So this is, again, the six by four and a quarter Lost Lagoon. Then we're going to do a layer of white. This is five and three quarters by four. Then I went back to that pack of paper that I was using before. And this one is called the Inked Botanicals Designer Series Paper. And this one I had used when we did um, the Crafting With You set. I, and I've used this for a couple different sets. This is a really versatile, I like these colors. These are really pretty colors. So I thought this was kind of fieldy looking and matched the Lost Lagoon. So we're using a layer of that. And this is five and a half by three and three quarters, this layer right here. Okay, then have you guys played with these papers yet? Now, I think for that same class I was talking about, I did um, the Berry Burst, and now this is also Lost Lagoon. And let me see if I have uh, a pack of this paper here so I can show you the colors that it comes with. Um, it's the Soft Shimmer Combo Paper, and I wrote the names down, Bubble Bath, Berry Burst, Night of Navy, Lost Lagoon, and Pretty Peacock. What a nice combination of colors. All oh, beautiful sparkly papers. 
I have more of this coming because as you can see, this is all I have left now of this because I've used it uh, to cut classes. Okay, so that's what we're using that. I used from the Stylish Shapes, I cut the circle. This is just a regular rectangle. I just cut a straight up rectangle with my paper cutter. And this is three and a quarter. I'm sorry, no, that was how much. This is three and a quarter by three and a quarter, right? This one is two and three eighths by two inches. And this will kind of be the background. This is the um, basic white and the deckled rectangle that I told you about. So this is what we're gonna stamp on. Okay, so I'm giving you a sheet of this to cut out. This is, okay, so I kind of messed up and didn't realize that this was retired because it was in the pack with the gold before. But I am sending this to you. This is kind of that bronzy color, but you could also use gold if you have gold um, just to do the outside of the lantern. So I'm sending you this piece. You'll just have to die cut it. I have already die cut mine for tonight. So I've sent that through already and I didn't punch this out, but it looks like it punches out really easily. Um, so let me get that ready in a minute. A little piece of Lost Lagoon that we're also going to stamp on. And I have this piece of Lemon Lolly. And um, this is two by one and three quarters. And we're just going to put this behind and then trim off the edges. So we have a little bit of light yellow coming from behind. Okay, we're going to stamp on this a little bit too. Uh, use our ink. Let me just finish this really quick. We're going to use uh, a little bit of a blending brush and ink on that. Okay. I think that's it. Perfect. Okay, so stamp, 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 and we're gonna stamp our um, other pieces on here too. So we have a lot of stamping to do for this one. Let me start with, let's start with the Lost Lagoon. Um, actually, I don't wanna do that. I wanna start with the Pretty Peacock. And since I'm gonna be stamping, let me get my baby wipe out because I know I'm gonna be messy right off the bat. Okay, so I'm gonna do Lost Lagoon and let me start by doing the calendar part right off the bat. All right, let me clean my stamp off since we've already used it. Yeah, so now we did our vacation at the beginning of the summer and I'm like, huh, what are we gonna do the rest of the summer now? Not sure yet. Okay, so on this one, our first is gonna start on a Tuesday. So the one all the way to the side, well, on the Sunday, will be the sixth. So we're gonna go from here. There's 31 days in August, so we know where to line this up, and we're gonna do it on Pretty Peacock. So let's see, where's the sixth? So right like this. So these are the seven right here. Just make sure I have enough ink on that. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of room, did I? Because on this one, I'm gonna put the days of the week on top, okay? And that's why I wanted to do this color first. So I'm gonna kind of line this up towards the bottom. And I think that looks pretty good. Make sure it's nice and even. All right, so there we go. There's our calendar part. Now, if you don't have this set or you don't like doing this, you can use the, the mini tear-off and um, you're just gonna have to adjust the size a little bit. So you can see, you could easily put this on instead and have it, um, right? Instead of doing the stamping part, okay? So I wanted to show you that. Okay, now also in the dark, I wanna do August, just straight up stamping on our little banner. So let me get my August inked up and see if I can get that. Okay, that was not very straight, but that's okay. I'm gonna use it anyway. And that's it for the pretty peacock. So now I can use the Lost Lagoon and try and line up my days of the week. So there's two different days of the week sets on here. And hold on, I've made a big mess on the side here. So you can see one starts on Monday, one starts on Sunday. So you can pick whichever one you want uh, for your calendar. And I'm gonna do this in Lost Lagoon. I feel like my S is a little off here. Okay, Let's see if I can get this straight. 
this one's a double whammy because I'm trying to get it straight twice, right? All right, I'm gonna actually pull it down a little bit. I hope you can still see it, but I need to be able to get on top of it a little bit. Okay, mm, that's a little blotchy. Could have done better, but that's okay. All right, let's get out the Daffodil Delight, and I'm just going to use a blending brush and just kind of make a little bit of a circle on here. And I just kind of want it right in the middle. Not too terribly dark, but enough so that it looks like there's a light inside our... Um, a little bit, and I think that's good enough. Just have a little bit of variation in the color, and that's all I'm going to do with that. Okay, lastly, we need to um, stamp off our leaves. Now that I've put everything away, right? So let me do the dark ones with this stamp right here. And I'll give you this piece of um, cardstock as well to stamp on. So I'm gonna do two of these. And then I'm gonna do two of the Lost Lagoon. I did the little fireflies in copper clay. I don't know why. I just thought they were a nice color complement since I was using the copper um, metallic. So I'm just going to do three of these little fireflies, lightning bugs, whatever you call them. We called them lightning bugs when I was a kid. Okay, then you're going to go ahead and take your dies and we're going to cut these out. Let me see where my dies are because I kind of threw everything over to the side. Okay, and you're just going to line them up. And these line up really nicely. So this one goes like this. We've got this one that'll go like this and cut that out. They're all going to leave a white border around. And then, like I said, this one is the one for the fireflies. And that one's just going to line up like this. Run them through your die cutting machine. I've done that ahead of time. So let me pull out the three little fireflies and our little um, leafy pieces like that. Okay, that's what we need for that. So let me put this away before I mess up anything else. Okay, all set on that. All right, I think we can go ahead and assemble. So, I'm going to take um, this piece right here and I want to attach it to the back right here. So I'm going to add a little bit of liquid glue again. Um, and I'm just going to go around here because really all I want to stick is the yellow, right? So I don't think I have my glue quite going. Right, yeah, so let me flip that around and kind of put it where I want it to be. So we do a minimum of cutting, right? Because I'm going to trim around the edges. All right. Let me just press that down for a minute. And you can see how it kind of looks like we have a little lit lamp there. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and do the trimming around the edges. Huh around the corner. And just these couple little corners down here. Okay, now we've got our lantern all set. And we can start putting everything else together. All right, so let's start by doing our layers on the card. We'll work from the bottom up. basic white. Yeah, I've really grown to love these little calendars. I keep one on my desk and I just, I love looking at them and I do refer to them a lot to see, well, what date is this and what date is that? 
And um, if I had to do 12 at once, though, I don't think I could do it. That would take, I don't think I have the patience for doing 12 at one time. That's a lot. Okay, I'm gonna pop this layer up next. Do you guys love this? Look how pretty and shimmery is this is. I just, I just love it. Of course, I'm a glitter girl. I like anything that glitters. Have you guys seen that set in the catalog with the crown and the little wand? And I can't wait to use that one. Do a little princess card, right? Okay, so right about here. And then I wanna make sure I have enough room here for this layer. So let me pop that up too. Let's do one in the middle, just to give it a little bit of strength. here. All right, now we can just take some. If we weren't on camera, I would probably just redo this one because I'm kind of crazy like that. I like things to look pretty good, so I may rip this off later and redo it. <laughs> All right, so that's like that. Let's put our August banner down in the corner, and then we're going to start layering our, um, let me get just a little bit more of seal on here. first. Okay, let's start layering up our leaves. We'll do the two darker ones first. And I'm going to be lazy and just use seal because it's faster than getting my glue out. So I'll put one like right here and the other coming off this way. These are a little skinnier, so I'm going to have to use the glue. Let me see if I can out a little bit better. It's pretty thick. I probably need to break out a new glue. This one's getting pretty grungy on the outside too because I'm messy. And it's very inexpensive. But it holds great. This is good glue. If I could just manage it better, I would use it more. If I could figure out how to not get it on my fingers. So nothing's going to be seen behind here. So I can have that a little bit messy. As a matter of fact, I'm going to cut a little bit of it off just to get rid of some of the bulk that's gonna go behind our lantern. Like this. Let me cut this one off too. Okay, let me hold that all down for a second just so it starts to stick. Then I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lantern up. Did you guys make anything with this set this year? This little lantern set? Okay, just like that. Now we can pop our little fireflies up. And I don't know if a regular dimensional is gonna fit. I think I'll use some minis on this. off the calendar. I should just cover up the S completely. <laughs> Since it's messed up. Just kidding. Okay, let's add a little bit of bling. Same rhinestone jewels. Just the little ones right on top of the little fireflies to make them look kind of pretty. All right, that is it. That is August, all set. I like that one. It's very summery to me. Okay, then for September, I was thinking more fall. I don't know why apples, I mean, I guess, do you harvest apples in September? Is that why apples are kind of a september -y thing? So this is what I came up with September. This is another set that I didn't get right away because I wasn't sure. So I did end up, and it's no longer in a bundle either, but the cool thing about this set is, um, let me show you, this is the apple set right here. It's called Apple Harvest, and it's got some really, I like this one especially, some really pretty um, apple um, images, and then it's got some cute little flaunty um, sentiments, really pretty. 
Um, it's got the flowers too. Here are the dies. Now, the cool thing about these dies, I said it's not in a bundle more, but these apple blossom dies are on the clearance rack. So these are $14. What a steal. So I thought, yeah, I'm definitely getting it if these are on clearance. Um, and look at this fun little scallop. I didn't use this, but this is what I used for the sentiment to cut that out in the real red. And then um, this will cut out our flower an apple die, and then again, thank you Stampin' Up, they gave us two of these to cut out the two flowers at one time with one pass of the die cutting machine. Love it, okay? So let's get out our pieces for this one. Oh, the other things that I used for this one is um, my favorite, the scalloped contours dies, and that was for this piece right here in the white, and for this, another rectangle that we had to come up with, right? So that worked out perfectly for this, if you like a little scalloped rectangle. And then for this layer of red, I ran it through um, the uh, embossing machine with this cane embossing folder. So that's what we used for that. Here are our pieces. Now I'm using pecan pie. Here's um, a little piece to stamp on. So we're gonna stamp on this. Again, this is four and a quarter by six piece of pecan pie. This is that layer of real red that I told you about. And um, the real red is five and a half by three and three quarters. And then I ran it through um, the embossing folder. Um, here's the scalloped contours die, and we're not going to use the whole thing, just part of it is going to be showing in, in the basic white. Now, it, your kit will come just like this. I've cut out all these shapes already, so you don't have to have all these different die sets. I've already cut them for you, okay? Which And I'm embossing this for you as well. So this will come in your kit already embossed. So you don't have to have that embossing folder either. Okay, so another piece of pecan pie. This is three and a quarter by two, and this is gonna border the outside of our calendar. So we're gonna stamp on this, we're gonna stamp on this. And then um, this was real red, I showed you the die for that. We're gonna stamp our um, month on there. And then the last thing is I have this piece of gingham paper. And this is another set. This is Glorious Gingham Designer Series Paper. Different colors, different sizes of the gingham. Very, very pretty. I'm not sure, let's see, what are the colors of these? Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel, Lemon Lime Twist, Pecan Pie, and Pretty Peacock. Um, and of course we're using the Pecan Pie to match our card with the little piece of gingham. Okay, and so the piece of gingham is two and five eighths by two and a half. All right, let's do our stamping. Let's start with the hard part, which I think is the um, calendar part. Let me just get, I've got a little piece of something in here. I need to just get that off. Okay. All right, so I'm going to stamp that in real red. And let me wash off my ink pad. All right. Okay, so let's see. This one, it looks like, is that the same thing? So um, the first is on the Friday. Let me flip this over and look at it. So the first is on the Friday, and this one starts with the third, and there are 30 days, but I don't think I have to block this off on the bottom. I just have to make sure I don't stamp it, right? So let me line this up where I can see it. So I said this, it goes to the second, and then I just need it, okay, so just like this. And I'm not getting the 30th or 31st down here, hopefully. I'm gonna check it before I stamp it and make sure there's no ink on those two. And then let's see if we can get it lined up. This one's a little curvy from the die cutting, so more of a challenge. And the 24th will be in there. All right, so I think that's about good. All right, excellent. We did it. We got through it. Okay, so I'm going to use Memento now. And I'm going to stamp our Apple image. You can see there's some shading already in this um, stamp, too. So let me get that good and inked up in Memento. 
for this clean. And then I'm also going to stamp two of the flowers. And then we're going to color this with our blends and die cut. Easy breezy. Okay, so I'm using real red for the apple. I'm trying to decide which side I want. So I'm going to start with my um, dark. Oh, this is light. That's not the one I want to use. Let me start with my dark. I'm going to try the bullet. And I'm just going to add a little bit of dark kind of along the shading that they have. I'm not sure I like the shading that they put in because it makes it kind of, um, I don't know, darker than I feel like it should be. I mean, we can do our shading, right? We know how to do that. But I guess it kind of gives you a guide as to where the shading should be. All right, I'm coloring further away from myself than I usually do. Hopefully I'm not sticking my head in the camera. And I'm just gonna color in the apple and try and blend the darker colors a little bit. See, can you see what I mean about the shading? You can see the black kind of going through there. I'm not sure that's my favorite thing, but it's fine. Okay, and stand the lines a little bit. So some of these, um, you have a pretty skinny area to color, which if your eyesight isn't great and your point isn't very pointy, it's hard to get in those skinny little spots. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna switch to the brush tip to try and get in the little spots a little bit better with the light. So yeah, I thought this coloring this apple was a little bit challenging, but we're doing it. And maybe because the shading's already there, you could just do the whole thing in light and you don't have to add the dark to it. I don't know. Maybe that would look better. I'm not sure. All right, did we get all the red pieces? I think so, that's all we're doing in the red. Okay, so I took bubble bath. I always want to call it bubble gum. It's bubble bath. And I took the large one and I just kind of did the center of the flowers in the large. Uh, I'm sorry, the um, dark. I'm losing my mind. And then I'm just going to do, not color in the whole thing, but just kind of go around the edge, kind of do like an outline around. So they're kind of white and pink flowers. Just real fast, not too careful, just like that. Okay, I use pecan pie to do the branches. Again, gotta be skinny on this one. So this one's a little tricky for me anyway. If you wanted to add some shading, you can add a little bit of the dark to it to just kind of um, shade a little bit here and there if you want, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. That's all I'm going to do with that. And then the last one, oh, not the last one, I'm lying. Before I do the leaves, I'm just going to add a little bit of the ivory just around here a little bit. Just like that. Okay, now let's do the leaves. I'm just gonna do a little bit of the outline in the dark and see if I can blend that in with the light. And then that's it, that's all the coloring we're gonna do. I keep forgetting that my old olive, this is old olive by the way, my brush tip, I don't know if it's working right. I might have to get a new old olive. I've used the heck out of it. a little bit. Make sure there's no white. 
All right, last piece of coloring here, just this last little leaf. Okay, then like I said, we're gonna take the dies and these cut out really nicely. Now, if you don't have the dies, but get the dies, because it's a steal, $14, oh my goodness, what a steal. Um, the dies cut it out perfectly, but this is these are not difficult images to fussy cut either, so you could just fussy cut it out if you want, or just line these up and um, go ahead and cut those out. I've done that ahead of time also. Move my dies so they don't get lost. All right, so here's this one and our two flowers. No more fireflies, no more stars. Okay, we're ready to assemble. All right, so let's start working our way up. I'm gonna take this layer first and just use some seal and center this. Okay, next layer, I'm gonna just put this down flat on here. Oops. And kind of near the top like this. Then our piece of gingham. Now, that's the wrong way, that's the right way, okay. Kind of like my dots to show. Good. All right. Let's work on the bottom part. And it looks, did I pop this up? It doesn't look like it. But I think I'm going to. Because I probably should have. I'm trying to decide. So since I was on vacation, I'm a little bit behind. I don't have next week's class ready yet. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for next week's class. There's so many things to choose from. So I'm going to line this up about like this. Okay. I did not remember to stamp the September. So let me do that in Memento. I'm gonna stamp this off to the side here. I'm gonna pull it down, sorry you guys, I have to see. If you rock it too much, that's how I get the thick and the thin, which is, I need to just go straight down and hold it there. I need practice. All right, now let's see. It looks like I still have a couple little pieces that need to be punched out, okay. And I'm just gonna put this right across the top, right there. Okay, this just gets sealed down. Yeah, so I don't know. There's a lot of fun, fun kits to choose from. Not sure what I want to do next, but I think I'm going to do a class coming up soon, and I think I'm going to use the space set to do a class because I am in love with that set and the papers. Okay, let's pop up our apples. And we'll just put them right about here. And then we'll pop up the flowers as well. I have a feeling this week I'm gonna wish it was fall because it's so hot. All right, let's put a couple of flowers like that. And then the last thing I did was take some of these classic matte dots and these are really, really pretty. I really like these. So I just took a couple of the black ones and put them on here. Just like that. Okay. All right, you guys, that's our third calendar is our September. 
All right, I hope you guys like these. Let me just bring them out again to show you. So we've got July, August, September, all ready to go for your class. Um, again, uh, and I, one thing I didn't write down here that I wanted to mention, if you place the order of $35 or more, you're gonna get um, you know, the kit to make the three um, calendar cards. But if you place an order of $35 or more, you're also gonna get the Sweet Stamp and Friends tutorial. And this is the June one that we just finished, 10 demonstrators. Um, 10 different cards, um, all, all have PDF in here of instructions, so you can see how to make these different cards. Really, really, really pretty. Um, this is the card that I made for it, this little happy birthday with the circle sayings. All right, so you'll get that free as well. I will send this um, PDF to you in an email. And then if your order is $75 or more, I'm gonna include a, an embellishment um, free for ordering with me. So thank you for that, I appreciate it. I can't remember what the embellishment is that I ordered. Um, I ordered a bunch of them. I can't remember which ones right now, but you'll get a free embellishment. Okay. A um, couple more housekeeping things really quickly. Um, again, remember, please join my email list. Um, I'll be sending an email out tomorrow, and I will put the project and measurement sheet in there. Um, if you would like this and you don't want to join my email, email list, just email me, and I'll send it to you anyway, and you don't have to be on the list, okay? Starter kit, $99. You get $155 worth of product for June. If you want to join Stampin' Up! and get the discount, um, you can email me. I can let you know what the um, perks are of that. Online exclusives coming up on July 6th. There's going to be more than just this. This is the pre-order for demonstrators right now, but you can see there's some Christmas stuff coming up. So um, this is going to be fun. Some things added to the online exclusives that we already have. And then the new paper pumpkin started on the 11th. And it's going to be fun in the sun with summertime accordion fun fold cards. So you'll be able to make nine different cards. It's going to come up with some sequins, a whole bunch of pre die cuts. So I am excited about this paper pumpkin. I think it's going to be super, super fun. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I appreciate y'all watching. Um, thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your week. Uh, I'll talk to you next Tuesday. All right. Bye-bye.